Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nolan Mayfield and today I'm going to be telling you about the 11 best college side hustles. In fact, we've actually had someone who does all 11 of these on our channel. So if there's any that you're interested in, you can watch a full video on it on this very channel. And because we know so much about these side hustles, we'll also be ranking them on three critical factors, profitability, accessibility, and growth potential. The higher the score, the better for all of these. And we'll start with our lowest ranking side hustle to work up to what we believe is the best possible college side hustle. So without wasting any time, let's get started and roll that intro. Our number 11 side hustle is selling custom cards for things like graduations and holidays. This is a great side hustle for someone who's trying to turn their passion for art into profit and is best done by selling cards at a farmer's markets and getting them into boutique consignment stores. In fact, you can even begin making some passive income by putting your cards in consignment stores. Unfortunately, this side hustle does score a one out of 10 for profitability, as you'll only be making around two to $3 per card sold, and it would take a lot of marketing and effort even to make a couple hundred of dollars. Whereas other side hustles on this list can make you over $10,000 in a single month, that would be nearly impossible selling cards. With that said, it does score an eight for accessibility as it's pretty easy side hustle to get into. You really don't need much besides some basic art supplies and you can begin marketing through word of mouth to family and friends and over social media. For growth potential, this side hustle gets a three out of 10 as it is something that can be built over time and can begin to build a brand locally, but will likely never turn into a very high paying source of income or a full-time gig. So even though this side hustle is our lowest scoring one with an overall score of a four, it's really just that low because it isn't super profitable. It's still a great side hustle though and pretty easy to get into. Moving on, our number 10 side hustle is driving food delivery services for companies like Postmates or Grubhub. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this one as it's probably something that you're well familiar with, but it scored a two for profitability, a 10 for accessibility, and a one for growth potential. This gives it an overall score of a 4.3 as it has a relatively low paying hourly rate and there's pretty much no way to increase how much you make per hour besides reaching some incentives that the company does offer, but it is extremely easy to get into. And like I said, it does score a 10 for accessibility. At number nine, we have taking senior portraits or really any other freelance photography. If you have an eye for photography, which a lot of people do nowadays, you can turn this into a really great source of side income. In fact, this gets a solid seven for profitability as charging around $125 for a shoot is typically below most other professionals. Editing and driving included, this averages to over $50 an hour. But with that said, it can be really hard, if not impossible, to line up 30 to 40 hours of work each week, so pay definitely does vary. For accessibility, this scores on the lower end with a three. The main reason for this being that professional photography equipment is very, very expensive. You can't get into this very seriously using an iPhone, and that upfront cost can definitely be a barrier to some. For growth potential, this side hustle does get a six, as like I mentioned, it can be really hard to line up consistent amount of jobs, but it does still have solid growth potential. Not only can you steadily increase your hourly rate, but this side hustle can also benefit a future career in the journalism and videography fields. So in conclusion, this side hustle gets an overall score of a 5.3. Our side hustle ranking at number eight is private tutoring. And this is an awesome side hustle for anyone specializing in an area of school like English or math, as there's really high demand for quality ACT and SAT tutors. You don't have to be a genius or really advanced calculus to do this though, as if you're patient and a strong communicator, you can also tutor elementary age students in a variety of subjects. For profitability, this gets a six, as it really does pay well. And here in the Pacific Northwest, it's completely reasonable to st start out charging $20 or more an hour as an ACT or SAT tutor. For accessibility, private tutoring gets a five, as you don't need to buy any equipment to do this, but it isn't necessarily that easy to start out. It really requires word of mouth referrals, and getting that first client will definitely be the hardest. For growth potential, this does get a five as well. Even though your hourly rate can increase, as you tutor for longer, this might be hard to turn into a full-time gig and it would rank higher if you could turn this into more of a business by hiring other people to tutor. In conclusion, private tutoring gets an overall score of a 5.3 as it's a very solid side hustle and arguably one of the most well-rounded on our list in terms of profitability, accessibility, and growth potential. 
Coming in next, at number seven, we have babysitting. And I'm also not gonna spend a ton of time on this since it's so well known, but babysitting is really an amazing side hustle. You can start doing it at a pretty young age and there's a ton of demand for it. It scores a four for profitability, a 10 for accessibility, and a two for growth potential. Where I live, the going rate is about $15 an hour, and it's also incredibly easy to get into, hence the 10 for accessibility. Unfortunately, wages rarely increase, and there's really no long-term play with babysitting, so like I said, it does get a 2 for growth potential, giving it an overall score of a 5.3. At number 6 is a side hustle that you may not know about, which is selling art prints on Etsy and Poshmark. This can actually be another fantastic way for artists to make money selling their art, and we've interviewed someone who made over $3,000 in two weeks doing this. That was with the help of an influencer, and that exposure is really important for this side hustle to work. And because of that, this scores a four for profitability, as there is the potential to make a ton of money, but it just varies so much. There isn't a lot of consistency with how much you'll make on a weekly basis, as it depends so much on publicity and getting traffic. Similarly, accessibility scores a six. You really don't need much to start doing this besides some basic art supplies and access to a print shop, and you also will need to set up an Etsy shop, which is pretty simple. To really succeed, you do need access to a large audience, but to just start with family friends isn't too tough. Growth potential is really high for selling art prints. It scores an 8 as there is a ton of potential to make a lot of money doing this in the long term. If you do it long enough and build a following on social media, you can get repeat business in your shop and consistently make a really high income. This gives selling art prints an overall score of a 6, and to be frank, is the side hustle that I would pursue if I were an artist. Now, before we get into the final 5 highest rated side hustles, which I'm very excited to talk about, I just want to take a quick pause to ask you to smash that like button. It does a lot for the YouTube algorithm, and as a small channel, it actually makes a huge difference. Also, another quick reminder that we have a full video on each side hustle listed here, which I've never seen a channel do, so definitely make sure to check those out. Now let's get back to it. Our number five top rated side hustle is caddying. Caddying is an amazing side hustle for teens and college students, and not only pays really well, but it can also lead to incredible internship and career opportunities just through the connections that you're going to make doing it. Having personally done it, it's also super fun, and it has great perks just free golfing. In terms of pay, caddying gets a 6 for profitability, as it pays well, but there is huge variance. On some days, caddies can wait for hours to get picked up and end up making less than $8 an hour or not even get hired. But on tournament weekends, it's completely realistic that they can also make hundreds of dollars in a matter of two days. We're giving this side hustle a four for accessibility, mostly because a lot of areas don't have country clubs and there can be quite a drive to get there. A lot of country clubs also don't let students caddy. In addition to that, it requires training and definitely requires knowledge of the game. This side hustle does have amazing growth potential though, and it gets an 8 for this. The more you caddy, the less you'll have to wait in line for jobs, as you can get regulars who will specifically plan around with you and, and at the end of it, tip you more. Because of this, caddying has great growth potential and can even become a potential career if you start doing this professionally. This side hustle gets an overall score of a 6. At number 4, we have reselling hype clothing, such as limited edition sneakers, streetwear, and potentially even designer clothing. This is something that is pretty well known as a way to make some extra money, and I think because of that, it has gotten a little bit oversaturated, but it is still a great way to make money. Brands such as Supreme, Bape, Kith, Nike, and Yeezy can have a huge resale market that you can tap into from your laptop just laying in bed. For profitability, this side hustle gets a 6, as there can be a ton of money to make in a short amount of time. Single items can net you hundreds to thousands of dollars, and I've personally made a substantial amount of money doing this myself. For accessibility, this does get a 5 for two reasons. First, you need to have capital to get into this, and not everyone has a significant amount of cash laying around, which they're ready to invest into expensive clothing. Secondly, this side also really requires a trained eye that can spot items with solid resale potential, which can take experience and also a lot of research. With that said, it's something that you can really get into with your laptop from home, which I think is pretty awesome. For growth potential, this scores an 8, as there's almost nothing stopping someone from growing this from a side hustle into a full business. In fact, there's an amazing complex documentary called Sold Out, which shows people who have turned this into a full-time job. All things considered, 
This side hustle gets a 6.3 as it's really lucrative, easy to get into, and it also has a lot of long-term potential for income growth. At number three, we have pressure washing. And in general, home maintenance and yard work are excellent side hustles for students to make some money, but pressure washing is particularly profitable. It's a highly valued and highly demanded skill that is often considered contractor work. And because of this, I actually started pressure washing at a pretty young age. I'm now consistently making over $50 an hour and $1,000 a week, which is why this gets an eight for profitability. Even if you don't have experience though, you can still reasonably charge $20 an hour as a beginner in pressure watching, which is pretty incredible. Accessibility does rank much lower at a three, however, as you will have to buy equipment to get into this side hustle. This can cost anywhere from a few hundred dollars up to a thousand or potentially more for professional equipment, which will help you get the job done faster. Once you have that equipment though, you'll also have to market yourself and build a customer base, which does take time. This side hustle has a ton of potential for growth though, and it gets a nine here. Pressure washing is something that can turn into a full scale business as if you get big enough, you can hire others to do the work and focus simply on lining up the jobs. This allows you to expand dramatically as you aren't limited by your time or geography. Additionally, you can also move up into commercial pressure watching, which is an entire world of its own, and there's a lot of money to be made there. In other words, there's a lot of potential for you to grow your income in this side hustle over time. So all things considered, this side hustle gets an overall score of a 6.7 as it's highly profitable and has a lot of growth potential, but it isn't necessarily very accessible. The side hustle coming in at number two is one that you would never expect or probably even think of, but it's throwing parties with an entrance fee. We've interviewed someone who does this, whose video will be posted in the coming weeks, but he makes thousands of dollars a month just by throwing parties. And even though it isn't a ranking factor, this has definitely got to be one of the most fun side hustles on this whole list, as well as one of the most profitable. In fact, it is the only one ranking a 10 for profitability, as you can literally make thousands of dollars in a single night by doing this. And with that said, it does require really great event planning skills, communication, and also crisis response, which probably isn't for everyone. In fact, this side hustle was the lowest scoring for accessibility and it gets a one. In other words, you can't just decide to really get into this on a whim and it's really tough to pull off successfully. The person we interviewed for the side hustle has over 7,000 followers on Snapchat and through that can get hundreds of people to his parties, but without that following, it would definitely be a lot harder. In fact, to really pull off the side hustle, you need a large and loyal group of supporters who will always show up. Moving on, this side hustle gets a nine for growth potential as this will slowly become more profitable over time. There's really no limit to how big throwing parties can get, and we've seen people do this partner with nightclubs and even dabble in planning concerts. In fact, this side hustle can turn into a full career of event planning and promotion, which gives it a really solid growth potential. All things considered, this side hustle is ranked in overall 6.7, as it's a gold mine of a side hustle, but it's very difficult to get into. The final side hustle, which I know you've been waiting for, and the absolute best one on this list without even coming close, is reselling workout equipment on platforms like Craigslist, Nextdoor, and OfferUp. In fact, we've made a video on someone who has made over $25,000 doing this since the start of quarantine. You can go ahead and watch it on the channel for more info, but this side hustle ranks highly on every category, landing a 10 for profitability, a nine for accessibility, and a seven for growth potential. Not only is it extremely lucrative and pays about $100 to $250 an hour, but it's also pretty easy to get into. Anyone can start by surfing these marketplaces and looking in the free sections for deals. And assuming you can transport, you can flip these items for really quick cash. It also has solid growth potential, as the person we interviewed who does this hires others to pick up his items and has them deliver them as well, so he can do everything hassle-free from home. This is by far our highest rated side hustle, and it gets an overall score of an 8.7, as it is highly profitable, accessible, and has amazing growth potential. Now, I need to be honest with you guys. Most YouTube channels would create videos like this to provide some half-baked ideas on what side hustles that you can start, but that is in no way what we're doing here. We want you to choose a side hustle from this list and actually start doing it. By having more videos on our channel with experts on these side hustles, we're providing all the information you could possibly need to get going. All we're asking for is for you to go ahead and like this video to encourage us to make more like it. And if you're interested in making money in creative ways to pay for school, make sure to hang around by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.